All right, welcome to Dora Dynasty's mini episode where you can hear all the latest on about television and entertainment news that will hopefully be coming up in 2021. I'm David Allen, and the other hosts are John Berwick, and the third one is Kyle Bridger. I would say that I'm a person, and that John is a person, and that Dave's Clifford the Big Red Doe. No, oh, come on. <laughs> 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 yeah that's a movie is that coming out around october because that is certainly a horror film in my eyes uh october 2021 <laughs> i don't, I don't know. know let me look and let me see if i can find hey, that, it. that's if anyone hasn't seen that image the poster <laughs> image of clifford the big red dog and or no the live action version yeah the live action you're not gonna go to sleep tonight if you want if you look it up but yeah so this week in this mini episode we're gonna talk about some of the things we're looking forward to in 2021 because 2020 Kind of a bust. <laughs> kind, of, kind of not a great year for entertainment, television, movies. So let's look to 2021 and maybe some of the things that we're hopefully getting next year. Let's start off with John. John, what are you looking forward to in 2021? I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is hopefully, I mean, unless they delay it, um, the um, Better Call Saul finale. Um, I know with Breaking Bad, they had split it into into two chunks and I'm hoping they don't do that here, but um, I don't know. Who even knows? Did they delay filming long enough? Maybe they won't even come out this year. I have no clue. I don't know. That's the whole like question right now. What is <laughs> filming? What isn't filming? Because uh, that kind of goes into some of the shows I'm looking forward to, hopefully. Uh, season three of Succession. Filming is supposedly happening right now. Hopefully they can mm. finish. Hopefully they can get it on the air. And then the one I'm always looking forward to, Atlanta. Where are you? <laughs> Where are yeah. you, Atlanta? It's always, it's always coming. It's always coming. It's all, if I saw this uh, Vulture article earlier this month. Uh, the series will have season three and season four in 2021. Uh, but from what I remember at the end of season two, which took place in the spring of 2018, uh, <laughs> that it ended with them traveling to Europe. So I don't know if that's going to happen. Mm. Uh, plus... All those actors with such a busy schedule, every single one of them is is famous and they have no time to do it. So mm-hmm. hopefully, hopefully we can get more Atlanta. I'm always looking forward to that. Um, and those are my TV shows. I have a couple movies to mention, but Kyle, anything that you're looking forward to in 2021? Um, nothing specific, but just looking forward to maybe some movies coming back uh, so that I can, you know... Uh, watch some i'm uh, kind of excited about uh some of the things that warner brothers is putting out uh interested in dune um it's not necessarily something that i would be like uh appeal to me necessarily but i am interested to see based on the trailer uh what it looks like and how it'll be watching it from home yeah yeah hbo max if everything is going according to plan they're going to be releasing 17 some movies right into our homes throughout the year. Uh, so looking to see how that's going to turn out. The fallout from that whole situation. Yeah, it, it's it's ongoing. Who knows by the time that this is even posted uh, so soon because uh, we're recording just minutes before it's going to get posted. But things could get changed at the drop of a hat. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but some of the movies I'm looking forward to uh, a little bit of Tom Cruise, uh, Top Gun Maverick. Supposed to be mm. getting that. That'd be nice to see. And Mission Impossible 7. I love these Mission Impossible movies. Those are my blockbusters. Those are what gets me excited. And the seventh one is supposed to be coming out in November. It'd be a nice birthday present. But uh, mm. I don't know. I, I, mm. First of all, I don't know. Hopefully I'll have the vaccine by then. And hopefully people are feeling more comfortable going to theaters. But there's a I good just, chance. There's a good chance I might not be in the theater watching. But yeah, I hope. I, I hope. I just wonder how these timelines are going to work out just with the movies because everything's just so backlogged. It's like everything's mashed together. Are people going to see that, see like two films up against each other and be like, no, we got to pull ours. Like, what is it? What, what is the fallout from all of this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Because I mean, HBO put all their movies that were supposed to come out last year. They're just going to read some HBO Max this year. And then all the... Disney films, all the Marvel films, they were pretty much pushed a full year. Black Widow was supposed to come out last May. It's coming out this May. Mm. Uh, so we're going to have to wait and see what actually unfolds in the next year for movies and television. But there's a, quite a bit of things to look forward to. I'm definitely excited about some new entertainment stuff. 
And we got a lot of stuff coming up in January when we're back live on the podcast. We'll be back Tuesday, January 5th with our live shows, 8 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. A lot coming up in January. Uh, We're going to catch up with a lot of December movies uh, this month. Wonder Woman 1984, Sound of Metal, Mank, Soul. So many films are coming out, especially to streaming. We'll, we'll, We'll catch up. We'll talk about all the ones that we missed in our weeks off. Plus, new series. Uh, Mr. Mayor on NBC, WandaVision, Disney Plus, very buzzy show. Plus, I have an idea for a winter TV catch-up. There's a couple weeks in January, like August, that we could use something every week. And there's a buzzy show on HBO people have been talking about that we've kind of missed on the podcast. I don't know if I'm ready to tell you the title yet. I don't know. Uh, I'll tease you with that. (laughs) I'll tease you. Make, Make you come back. To, yeah. to, to do a redundancy and see what we're talking about in January. Make sure you never miss an episode by going to YouTube, going to iTunes, Spotify, the blog, doerdonsy.com, and of course, Twitch, twitch.tv slash doerdonsy. You can subscribe there so you never miss an episode, especially the live video shows. They're always a bunch of fun. We had all new graphics for 2020, and we're going to be powering through with 2021 with a lot of different stuff coming up. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Dordansi. We put post show clips there. We put out alerts of when we're going live. Definitely follow us on social media. But again, I got to thank both of you guys for joining me this past year. We did over close to 50 podcasts in 2020. I couldn't do it without you guys. And I hopefully, hopefully, your contracts have been renewed for 2021. I'm hoping. With a nice payback. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so too. All right. Well, until until then, until January, I'm David Allen. I'm Jar Berwick. And I'm Cobbridger. And that's all we got for Door Dunsey's 2020. Bye, guys.